Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to be making a good aerial bomb. I wouldn't say good, but this is more overpowered than good. This here is extremely OP because it's more accurate than most bombs that you would normally create, such as a cluster bomb, basically just an explosive block connected to a uh, disconnector. And I want to show you how good these things are. We are gonna go ahead and drop this in the water at this angle. Now as you can see here, it points only downwards, so once you do disconnect, it will only go to the area that you want it to go. And I'll give you a little demonstration of a bomb being. As you can see there, that very small tank just got ruined. Well, of course, not a very good representation since it's a very small tank. But if that wasn't a small tank, it would have done lots of damage. Anyways, let's get right on with this tutorial. So, what you want to do first is go to wedges, get a pyramid wedge, and make it point to the front. And now get a explosive block with these settings. So, the explosive key can be anything you want, but. Uh, it has to be max bl max blast pressure and max blast radius and arm on key you're going to be detonating this manually so let's go ahead and copy these settings onto a new regular explosive block right there okay so now that you have these settings go ahead and place seven right there at seven now let's go ahead and lift this up two times so that we actually can work on the part where we put these connectors later on. So the important part that actually makes this uh, bomb able to go down properly and quickly is because you place this pattern of wind panels in the back. You place one straight line down the middle sort of like a straight line and then you place another one like mm, facing left and right and then this one here is supposed to be play, uh, facing the top and the bottom and this one's to be facing left and right anyways so now that you have that combination your your aerial bomb will always go down now let's go ahead and put some disconnectors and put it as your arm on key. So let's say your arm on key or explode key is one. You'd put your disconnector as one because once you disconnect it, um, it will arm on key. Now let's go ahead and place them on the sides. Right there, and then one on the bottom. So now this will make a cool effect where when it disconnects, it loses a lot of parts, well, most of these, and then it just looks very cool. So you can color this anything you want, but this is basically how you make a simple missile. Now, I need you guys to have the right settings, so let's show it one more time. Okay, and now I'll be using the original missile to show the destruction of this thing. So let's go ahead and find a land vehicle. And we're not really gonna find a land vehicle, we're just going to bomb any. So we did miss, but it's fine. I'll be showing you guys now how it would work in midair. Let's go ahead. So I do suggest when you do drop the bomb on someone, you would want to go up like this. And then let's say that mountain over there. Ah, uh, there we go. And then drop the bomb. Uh, if you do go straight forward like this, not going up at all just like this what would happen is you would need to be high enough about this high and then drop the bomb 
So it's not the best, but it's pretty overpowered if you can control your bombing right and if you're accurate with your bomb. Now, another thing you can do also is that this bomb, you can change the length so that it would actually fit your plane or you could even make this into a missile if you think that would work. But anyways guys, that's the tutorial for today. I hope you guys liked it and make sure to like, subscribe, and comment what your favorite part was. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching.